Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN, and we're going to be going over some of the Death Knight blood tanking changes from 4.0.6. Now, uh, one of the changes here is Icebound Fortitude now breaks stuns when used, in addition to providing immunity to them. So I'm going to get over here, I'm going to find this uh, Rep Paladin here, I'm going to duel him. Uh, I'm going to ask him if he can uh, possibly HOJ me. Just HOJ me. HOJ me. And uh, after I'm hodged, uh, I should be able to just pop Ice Mount Fortitude and get right out of it, which is almost acting like another trinket uh, when you're stunned. So he's saying, let me get some mana back. I'm saying, just HOJ me, please. I, I don't care if you need mana. Just just DJ HOJ me and DPS me. Oh, my God. Some people just don't understand <laughs> what I'm asking for. Just HOJ me, please. There we go. All right, so now he's going to hodge me. And HOJ, HOJ. Anytime now. Hodge. Fucking HOJ. I'm HOJ'd. I'm going to use Icebound Fortitude, and I was able to get right out of it. Okay. Now, now take me down to 30%. So we'll on the Necropolis procs. So I'm going to use my uh, Rune Tap right now. I used it. So now if he can take me down below 30%, um, I should be able to get it refreshed because of, since Will of the Acropolis is up. And I'll explain that change after it happens. And um, almost there. There we go. And you should see right there, a rune tab refreshed on me. And I got the little icon proc for it. Let me see. Let me tell him thanks. He can kill me now if he wants to. So what happened there was this is this is the following change that just happened on that instance. Um, Will of the Necropolis no longer refunds a blood rune when it resets rune taps cooldown. Instead, it makes the next rune tap free while Will, Will of the Necropolis is active. So as you can see there, I went sub 30%. Will of the, of the Necropolis was active. And then I went straight to another uh, rune tap because it refreshed and it gave me another free one, which is pretty much awesome. And he's still trying to kill me. Thank you. You're done. <laughs> and uh, let's head over to the Death Knight starting area and we'll talk some more about some other changes. All right, we're here now in the Ebon Hold and uh, let's look at some other small little changes. Uh, Bone Shield now has four charges up from three. Let's go ahead and pop some Bone Shield. There you go, four charges of Bone Shield. Um, Crimson Scourge has been redesigned slightly. That is uh, this talent right here. You can read it off as I'm reading this off. Instead of a 50 to 100% chance to make the next blood boil free when Plague Strike is used on a target with Blood Plague, the talent now gives a 5 to 10% chance to provide a free blood boil, okay, when the Death Knight lands any melee attack on a Blood Plague target. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let me move my uh, Plague Strike over to my Q bind. Don't know why it's not binded to begin with. But uh, let's go ahead and Plague Strike. As you can see, the target now has... Blood Plague on it. So I have a 10% chance from just meleeing that my Blood Boil will refresh. So I'm going to hit Blood Boil right now and I'm going to keep uh, hitting other melee attacks. You just see a little um, wow um, uh, power aura style thing that happens here. It's going to happen in a few seconds. Come on. I mean, it's pretty good for AoE tanking and especially for heroics. It seems like it's a really nice change. There it is right there. A little blood boil on each side. I hit blood boil and the little power aura thing goes away. So as long as uh, there is a blood plague on the target, which can be easily refreshed by using plague strike or by using your... Um, what the hell is the name of this ability down here? I forgot it already. Uh, that's called Outbreak. <laughs> Uh, using your outbreak, your blood boil has a chance just to basically refresh off of melee attacks, and that is a 10% uh, chance. Let's uh, let's try that again here real quick. Let's see if we can see it pop. Let's uh, put a blood plague. There it is again. It looks like little blood boils on each side, and it won't go away until you actually use it. Uh, Crimson scourge right there it actually lasts. Um, how many seconds does that last? Let's try. Let's wait again. Uh, it's 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to hit your blood boil to activate it and keep going. So that's a pretty nice change. That's really awesome for heroics and for AoE tanking, uh, trash and raids before bosses. Uh, some bosses maybe that require um, ads to be tanked like Help is Warmbreaker on heroic mode or normal. Let's see. Um, Heart Strike now deals 175% weapon damage 
plus 15% per disease, up from 120 plus 10 per disease. Now, since I don't have a video from the previous patch before 4.0.6, let's just look at the actual damage. Uh, right now, there's no diseases on the targets, as you can see from my, see from my tidy plates. Hard strike, let's do about five hard strikes. 7504, 7734, 7850, 7273, and 7822. All right. So now let's go ahead and put diseases up. Let's put some outbreak on it. Let's see how much we do now. 8521, 8628. 9127. So obviously that change has occurred. It does look, look like it does 15% more damage uh, with diseases up. Uh, improved Death Strike now increases the damage of Death Strike by 90% up from 15, 30, 45. So they double the damage of Death Strike. Let's see how let's see how hard Death Strike hits for. Let's let, let's see Death Strike. Death Strike. Yeah, 9142. 15393. Oh my god. Fucking OP. 17,900, 8551. Come on, come on. More death strike. 8758. I mean, for it to do almost 100, like, why'd they even stop at 90%, guys? Why couldn't they just say, all right, death strike now does 100 a bazillion percent more damage? Anyway, so death strike does more damage now. Uh,. Pfft. Let's see. Oh, this is this is my favorite one, guy. By the way, guys, if Death Strike is used while a Blood Shield is already active, now Blood Shield is your mastery, which is if you hit Death Strike, if you look up here at this tooltip, it says Blood Shield absorbs nine thousand sixty four physical damage. That's the that's what I get every time I hit um, Death Strike on a target. Uh, whatever you Death Strike for, a certain percentage of it becomes the Absorb Shield. That's the mastery. Now here's what the change is. If Death Strike is used while a Blood Shield is already active, so let's uh, let's put a Blood Shield active, okay? The new Absorb will stack with the old one instead of replacing it. So let's hit it again. 9,064. Now it's 18. 18,000 before. Now it's 27,000. So basically, let's see. It says 18,000 or 27,000. 36,000. So basically... The absorb damage is stacking. Before, what would happen is you would, uh, let's say, let's wait till it resets here. You would hit your Death Strike. It would be 9,064. If you hit Death Strike again, it wouldn't stack. It would just refresh it and give you the new absorb damage. Now, um, if you have enough power that you can just, like, hit Death Strike three straight times in a row. Let's see, Death Strike once, 9,064. If I hit Death Strike again, it's not going to reset it. It's going to stack the absorb damage. Now it's 18,129 physical damage absorbed. Let me hit it before it goes out. Oh, look at that. 27,194 physical damage. How high can we get here? 36,000. Come on. More. 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 Hit it. Oh, did I get it? 45,523. So that's a really significant change, man. Like, that's really awesome for fights like Chimera on, um, Nefarian, uh, dealing with the breaths and all the incoming damage. So, I mean, basically for me, the most important changes uh, that affect my DK, because I'm not really a rating DK, I'm more like I do Heroics and I do Baird and Hold whenever it's up. Uh, the Crimson Scourge change is amazing. Uh, letting my melee attacks have a 10% chance to refresh my, um, uh, my blood boil as long as there's blood plague on the target. That's awesome, dude. And um, Death Strike used while Bone Shield is already active. That's another. Like, that's that's OP right there. But, you know, Death Knights don't have block. They don't have a, a mitigation um, talent or anything like that or ability. So, they, you know, that's what basically their, uh, their Blood Shield is. That is their mitigation. Bone Shield, all that shit is their block uh, to compete with other tanks like Warriors and Paladins. And the Willow and the Acropolis is a really good change only if you're probably like a raiding tank. And you know how to really time your cooldowns properly. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this has been Tally with uh, TGN.TV. Um, Twitter.com slash TallTheTank. Facebook.com slash TallTheTank. And uh, Wow.TGN.TV. Uh, come over on the forums. Come to Sargeras. Come to Death Rock. Say what's up. Rick Roll, baby. Mm -hmm. This has been my Blood DK Rick Roll. Showing you some 4.0.6 changes. For blood DK tanking, y'all just got rigged rolled. Mm -hmm.
peace.